Hi, welcome back. And since it's the end of the summer, we're going into fall now, we're going to talk about some of our local New Mexico arthropods before they're all gone for the winter, because most of them don't survive the winter. Oh, they don't survive? I was well, just so excited to learn about all of these friends. I'm so excited, though, to learn about bugs that we have here in our own home state. Yeah, so we'll start off with one that will survive the winter. Okay. So this is our largest native spider species in the United States. Excuse me. So this is the desert blonde tarantula. Oh, and it's a tarantula, yeah. my favorite. It's that time of year. Let's keep the spiders going. How so, cute. Yeah, as you can see, she gets uh, just about as big as the, some of the tropical ones. She's not full grown either. She can get a lot bigger than this. But um, yeah, they kind of have this uh, nice tan coloration contrasting with darker browns. And you'll notice she has this big bald spot on the abdomen. Yeah, what's going on there? So that's from kicking hairs. So um, she was a pretty feisty spider. Mm. And every time she got disturbed, she used to just kick hairs from the back of her abdomen. They grow back with each molt, but um, she needs to molt again to get those back. So she's basically just sassy. Yep. She's a cool. little sassy one. So the ones you see in the roads a lot, um, those are the male tarantulas. They're darker, have longer legs, and they're the ones that are out of their burrows. The females, on the other hand, spend most of their time in that burrow. Probably 90% of their life is in that burrow. And they'll occasionally come up and wait right outside of it for prey to come by on warm, humid nights. But we rarely get to see them. So Super females are cool. more bigger, they're more robust. I think they're prettier, they're longer lived. So she'll survive since they live underground and can live for up to 20 years. But the rest of these die off when the weather gets cold. So first I'll show you one of my favorites. This is the Western Hercules beetle. So it is, cool. Yeah, isn't he awesome? Yeah. You can hold him if you want. So that's a major male, and this is a kind of small to medium male. A so, major male. Yep, so Ooh. he's very large, and you can see he's bigger. His horns are bigger than this one. So cute. So these are uh, found throughout the high country of Arizona and then in the Gila wilderness in New Mexico, also uh, in the Sacramento mountains, so around Ru Ruidoso you'll find them. But um, what's interesting is, uh, like a lot of beetles, they're active at night and they fly to lights, especially UV lights. So they often show up at uh, gas stations or porches if you have a mercury vapor lamp there. And that's how people tend to collect these. Very cool. Yeah, one of our largest uh, native insects here. So cute. And then who's this guy here? I've never seen anything yeah. like him before. So he's right from the gardens here. In fact, we caught him in the uh, children's fantasy garden on the willow there. Oh, this is wow. a Texas-eyed click beetle. And he's doing what click beetles love to do and play dead. But a he has click an, beetle. A click beetle. So click beetles are really interesting because they're mostly predatory as larvae. So his larva will live inside a rotting tree and it'll feed on other beetle larvae that are eating the rotting tree. And they're called click beetles because of this. Oop. Ha -ha. Whoa! Oop. So that is their main defense. They have these uh, fake eye spots on the thorax, so they kind of look like a lizard or a snake. Oh, look at him. He's trying to... Yep. And then they just flick around like that, startle would-be predators. And they're also very, uh, very solid, so they're hard to bite Ooh, into. Yeah, that... <laughs> oh, you can feel that. Don't try it. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do? Pull him or just put him yeah, on my hand? You can just hold him like that, and um, it feels pretty cool. Just the force Whoa. that it exerts. I'm oh. not gonna hurt you. <laughs> they really, he really gets super compact. Oops. Oops sorry. Oh, okay. Right, well. So we have one more friend to show you. Yep. So this one you won't find in the Albuquerque area. In fact, its uh, range is mostly in Texas and the southeast. This is called the giant stick insect, which here in the Bulgarium it's kind of a joke because. There's much bigger ones from the tropics. But this is our largest U.S. stick insect. And you'll find these in southeastern New Mexico, near the Texas border, near the Guadalupe Mountains, and probably a few uh, creeks in that far, far southeast corner where there's oaks or other hardwood trees. But it's also a very pretty stick insect. They have these nice red colors on them. Yeah, red and green and yellow and brown. He's beautiful. Oh, yeah. And so these will spend the winter as eggs. So uh, this is a male here. The females are even bigger, but they're not as pretty. And they'll lay their eggs, uh, just uh, fling them to the ground from the trees, and then the eggs will spend the winter just under, you know, kind of in the dirt, and then they'll hatch the following spring when it gets warm enough. So he will not be with us much longer. Awesome. Well, mm -hmm. thank you so much for showing me some of these beautiful native species. Yeah, to our my pleasure. Yeah, lovely state of New Mexico. We have cool stuff in the Southwest. So. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. All right, so here's a very cool spider-esque type thing. Ooh, what kind of spider is this? It's not a spider. We'll talk about it next time. Come back next time to find out what this cool creature is.